Question 42. How do you know that your interpretation of scripture is not influenced more by your background and culture than by what the authors of scripture actually intended? We are keenly aware of our fallibility. We feel the forces of culture, tradition, and personal inclination, as well as the deceitful darts of the devil. We have our personal predispositions and have no doubt been influenced by all the genetic and environmental constraints of our past and present. And we hope we are not above correction. But we take heart that some measure of freedom from falsehood is possible. Because the Bible encourages us not to be conformed to this age but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 whether feminists are more influenced by the immense cultural pressure of contemporary egalitarian assumptions, or we are more influenced by centuries of patriarchalism, and by our own masculine drives is hard to say. It does little good for us to impugn each other on the basis of these partially subconscious influences. It is clear from the literature that we all have our suspicions. Nonetheless, our confidence in the convictions we hold is based on five facets of our pursuit of truth. 1. We regularly search our motives and seek to empty ourselves of all that would tarnish a true perception of reality. 2. We pray that God would give us humility, teachability, wisdom, insight, fairness, and honesty. 3. We make every effort to submit our minds to the unbending and unchanging grammatical and historical reality of the biblical texts in Greek and Hebrew, using the best methods of study available to get as close as possible to the intentions of the biblical writers. 4. We compare our conclusions with the history of exegesis to reveal any chronological snobbery or cultural myopia. And 5. We test our conclusions in the real world of contemporary ministry and look for resonance from mature and godly people in humble confidence that we are handling the scriptures with care we lay our vision now before the public for all to see and debate in public forum 